when you guys are ready, it'll it should put you on the Foundry VTT screen. Yay. We're waiting for a ghost to get back. He said he had to go do something real fast. That's fine. I was about to say, I opened up pins, it's like, he ain't got none. I was like, like a halo I don't. <laughs> halo I don't. <laughs> Me. Oops, there we go. Ooh, Gauss Cannon researched. Pitoo. I was about to launch uh, the wrong game. You're about to launch a game? <laughs> yeah. I was going to go into Cyberpunk and I realized, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> My face won. It's well, not Halo. Our RPG's not good enough for you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I'm My not going to play won. your stupid browser game. What are you talking yeah. about? My face you messed up my leg. It's not Halo, but it's just a <laughs> dongle dick in front of my face that loads. It's my activity. Register games, yeah. Turn Google Chrome off. Can I, like... No, I just have to turn it off completely. I can't just be like, hey, don't display this for now. But will. It would be nice if it didn't display this. I'm sure there's a way to make it do it, but I haven't looked into it. What are we trying not to display? The browser. No, I was just, yeah, I said I was playing Google Chrome, so I was like, I don't really want that to say that right now, so I just turned it on. Oh, it would have yeah. nice if I could have just, like, left it saved for, like, movie nights and shit, but then had it off right now. You know, boop, 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 spectrum boop. dice are hard to read, but they roll well for me, apparently. <laughs> it's old man Jenkins. How many hot bars can you have? Uh, five, I think. Five, okay, yeah. <clears throat> Probably, I honestly, don't know if I'm even going to use this full one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am using a full one, but just, just barely. Well, didn't, didn't Tyler say you could uh, tie, like, perception checks and shit? Uh, you Did might be, you might be able to... Um, it would be nice if you could. I guess he's here, you can ask him. Oh, uh, Ghost, you said you were able to tie, like, a perception or investigation checks and all that to the macros? Oh, I have no idea. Maybe. Oh, I thought you said you did that for your uh, investigations or something. Uh, no, I don't think I've done that. You might be able to, I'm not sure. It literally... When you click on a blank one, it gives you, like, some options to set a macro, but, like, the only option is to title it. Um, and I mean, can you not just say where to put it? Oh, I guess thing. there's a command line, but I don't, yeah, I don't know how to, how I would write that, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, but, hold on, let me. But. Alright, excellent. Um, let me get rid of all the macros, because I don't have <laughs> anything. And I gotta reload them too. Uh, yep. You guys will be starting with almost no inventory. Nah. And I guess I'll do like the housekeeping stuff that you guys need to know right now. You guys will be starting with almost no inventory, and three of you are gonna be starting off without the ability to see um, until the prologue is over. And you will know that the prologue is over because I will ask you guys to introduce yourselves to each other <coughs> in character. And so I'll, if you guys need, I can give you a couple seconds to decide what you're going to say initially to each other. But at the very least, uh, say your name and like basically who you are. So... For instance, Gunny, you <coughs> want to say, you know, my name is Chips Dubbo, and I am a ODST bullfrog. And if that's all you want to say, that's fine. If you want to say more, that's also fine. Sounds okay. Gucci. Uh, Bullfrogs rule. We're the tunnel frog. The tunnel frog. Tunnel frog rule. Ah, you changed Gomez's. 
Oh, I'm pretty sure I diagnosed with ADHD excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I hope punch still works. Falco punch. Uh, punch should still work just fine. <laughs> Roll a one, you just like caress the. the <laughs> 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 you you <laughs> lean in real close and lovingly <laughs> caress the brute's cheek. He is Still not does a one damage out of like psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I sheer, to make... sheer uncomfortable <laughs> damage. Yeah. I roll to make the brute chieftain uh, uncomfortable. Excuse me? <laughs> He's uncomfortable. <laughs> I roll to grab his nuts. <laughs> Rolls in that 20. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. We don't have to fight. Look at you. Look at me. Damn, you did roll. Oh, you rolled a d100. Never mind. <laughs> That's a two. <laughs> Why did it roll a wait? Why did it roll two dice instead of a? It rolled two. It rolled two. two I don't know. I it's the. I mean, the computer doesn't do it obviously, but the module that rolls the dice doesn't roll a d100. It doesn't have a d100. I'm going to roll 4d20 for a reason. <laughs> I gotta roll my dice out. That's a good boy. Hold on. <laughs> yep, that's fine. I gotta... I gotta... Make some... You just gotta make some throws, you know? Get all the bad juice you have. I mean, you tossed a 17. Could do a lot worse than that. Sure. Hey, Albert, I'm messaging you something really quick. Go ahead. <clears throat> Oh, that's actually a good question. Um... Okay, while you're typing that, I'm going to get my pizza, I'll be back. Uh, okay. I'm going to get a slice of pizza. Oh, this is... Augers, okay. Come on, Dick. Oh, God, get him. <gasps> okay, I think we're just waiting on Gomez. Yeah, I'm all good. Okay. Uh, does anyone have any questions or need to do anything before we get started? No, I'm good. I've got my water. Got a 14 liter of Baja Blast. <laughs> <laughs> gamer oh, fuel. Gamer fuel. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's so much gamer fuel. Do it then. All right. Well, um, I can. Is it, am I supposed to be able to see? Can you see? You should not be yeah. able to see. <laughs> One second. Oh, yep. Yeah, you sure can. How's that? And now I am blind. <laughs> <laughs> I see two orange squares. Okay, but it's dark for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Nate, what can you see? You can see normally. You can see like yeah, you can see like a a hunter yeah, can. Yeah, am I, am I in a doorway? It's just like the the, the vision's weird, like it's obstructed partially. But yeah, it seems aside from that, it's normal. Okay. Man, I can't see anything. Alrighty, well, let's get started. Oh, I'm being taken somewhere. Oh boy, boy I watch a YouTube video. video. <laughs> <laughs> and you watch a YouTube video? Mm hmm. It's me. Ah, oh, gotcha. Yeah, the boys. The boys. <laughs> the Instrument of the Gods, a Halo DD. Chapter 1 Sleeper Sight. October 2552. Almost a year ago, Kigir pirates located and subjugated an insurrectionist sleeper colony on the habitable moon of Rosa Charlie. While initial contact with the humans was hostile, 
the Separatists and Pirates find something close to kindred spirits, and both groups have been trying to fly under the radar of the larger human covenant war. Unbeknownst to the Kigyar and most of the colonists, the far end of Rosa Charlie Spaceport has been operating as a Separatist black site for a rebel super soldier program out of a very unusual underground facility. Special Abilities Each character starts with two proficiency points. With each point, you can choose a single special ability or use the same ability more than once per rest. As the campaign progresses, you will gain more proficiency points. There are three types of downtime. Snap Decision. This is a short rest. Snap Decisions are enough time for the leader or one group member to make a plan for the rest of the group but not enough time for debate. Huddle. This is also a short rest. This is enough time for the team to come together and make a plan. Long rest. Characters have the chance to perform one full interaction with a teammate or NPC. They can conduct research or craft an item. Moon Discovery. Superficially, the existence of this Kigyar Moon has been known by brute-led covenant forces for some time. Now a brute war chief has arrived, with a ship overhead looking to press the Kigyar into service by any means necessary. They are capturing the humans, and are also asking about unusual artifacts that can be found on the moon. Looming overhead is a massive covenant ship. There is no way to tell if it is alone or part of a carrier group. The Kigyar Pirate King, Featherbeard, is now meeting with the Brutes to discuss terms. Everyone make it through that? Yep. Yeah, do you want me just to look at these other tabs or what? Uh, no, just go ahead and close okay. the window. <coughs> oh boy, it's raining. It is oh. raining. How much are characters aware of what's in the intro? Is it any of that, or...? Uh, you, uh, you are aware of almost all of that up until this point. Okay. Um, and here, like, here briefly, you'll know it all. Excellent. Okay. I mean, depending on how you roll, but, uh... <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Anar and Seppo, why don't you both give me a perception check? Or an investigation check, whatever you prefer. Um, do you want me to do that flat, or since I'm blindfolded, how do you want it? Uh, no, you can do it with you can you can do it with your your modifier. That's that's okay, just fine. fine. I have have that all figured out. Let's go. Beautiful. <laughs> all right. Okay. Mine's not great. terrible. <laughs> um, okay. So Seppo, what you hear is that um, nearby. There's some negotiations going on, and you can also hear that the jailer of a ship called the Dimly Lit Hope, named Zaz Gulag, is planning to trade you to the insurrectionists, and that you will be so sold for genetic experimentation. And then okay. Anar, with a 20... Uh, you can, since you can see, you can tell from the body language that the Pirate King Featherbeard has refused any no negotiation with this brute war chief. And the war chief was anticipating this refusal. It's not a surprise. In the hopes of redeeming the bounty, um, you will also hear that Zaz Gulag, the jailer of the dim uh, dimly lit hope, is planning to trade you to the insurrectionists, and you're going to be sold off for genetic experimentation. Um, you also notice several snipers overlooking the landing pad and that the fight that has just begun will probably be a long one. All right, I am going to take control of your characters again. Oops. Somehow. One of the characters broke, but that's okay. Let's just stack you guys up here for a second. Okay, an insurrectionist <laughs> bids you and Gulag to the entrance of a sturdy building at the end of the flight line. 
Within the building is a door, dug into the floor, of very unusual design. The insurrectionists have no difficulty opening it, and seal the door behind you as you go in. Nice. <laughs> All right, let me give you guys your vision back. Seppo looks like he has his. Yeah, I've got mine. All right, everyone can see? Yes. Yep. Oh. All right. Now, my two Covenant boys, why don't you give me one more perception check upon entering this room or investigation, whatever you prefer. Unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All righty. Uh, mine's a little better. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, Anar, what you see before you are several surgery suites of different shapes and sizes. It is obvious that these suites are built for different species of the galaxy. Just as you lay eyes on one of the larger suites, it hisses open to reveal a fully nude soldier, strapped down and just regaining consciousness. However, whatever genetic augmentation that was planned for him seems to have gone awry. He is very spindly, bordering on being <laughs> underfed. Nearby, some sort of AI hologram is being projected from insurrectionist technology. And then, Seppo, what you can see with your 16 is everything that Anar was able to see, but you also notice that Gulag is carrying a large satchel from the ship on his back. Okay. All right. A few metagame things. For the moment, all players and NPCs in this room are considered to be in a party. And the things I say now apply to all of you. Do what you want with that information. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make your introductions. Who wants to go any first? Yeah. Say any particular order. Well, you could roll. We could yeah. roll. It would be tradition. <laughs> All right, everybody roll a d20. 17. Pliny gets a 17. Why don't I just select a d20? Uh, go to rollable ta tables. It's up here. It's right next to the little book. Gotcha. And then uh, go to single rolls and roll down and go down to uh, 1d20. All right, Jibs. Jibs right. <laughs> goes first. Getting his strong rolls and for the important stuff out of the way. My name is Chips Dubo. I am a UNSC bullfrog. I am uh, not very aware of what I'm doing here, and I'm very concerned about what's going on. Yep, a room full of room full of covenant. Yep, that's that's fair. All right, looks like. Uh... Well, we have Pliny is next with the 17. Yep. Greetings, I am Pliny the Greater. I am the current head AI of Redacted, 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 Redacted. And I am so happy that you're here. All right. Uh, Anar, you're next. Well, I guess I'll just be relaying all this to Seppo since no one can <laughs> fucking understand me. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, Anar makes hunter noises for five minutes, yeah. and then Seppo <laughs> begins to speak. <laughs> I introduce myself as Anar, and then just, uh, just obviously incredibly irritated and distressed. Yeah, not about happy about bound, what's going yeah. on. Constantly like trying to test my bonds against like whatever whatever it is that they have connected to me, and just say that I want to get out of this room. <laughs> 
Uh, I relay that to the party, most of it. <laughs> From what you understood. And then I, and then I say, I am Seppo, <clears throat> a proud Sengili warrior of the Covenant, and uh, currently very upset with what <laughs> has transpired recently. Right. <laughs> I will kill you all if I can. <laughs> I, uh, I show disdain towards our, or our, our captors. Uh, excellent. Now... Anar, you may designate a pack brother at this time. Okay, I'll just pick Seppo then. Okay. Nice. Perfect. We dab up with our tight hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now the introductions are complete. The insurrectionist that led you here introduces herself as geneticist Margie Kaur, formerly of the UNSC Genetics Database, and asks Zaz Gulag if he can help her get her genetics research and prototype AI off the moon before the black site is discovered by the brutes. Gulag protests, arguing that the previous deal has not yet been completed and that mercenary service will cost even more. Margie Kaur argues that she can pay, but also reminds Gulag that he is sealed in and she can unseal the doors behind you unless the brutes break in first. While Kaur and Gulag debate, you have three options. You can speak up, you can test your restraints, or you can wait. Go ahead and tell me what you want to try, and you can roll an order if you want to see who gets to decide who does what first. I, I do I have my do I have, do I have my restraints on at this moment? You are all restrained. Okay. We could use just the previous rules as far as order if we want to do that. Oh, I already cool cleared thing. the log, oh, so sorry. That was a good idea, Corey, but I already screwed it. It was Corey Gomez Naimi. Okay, yeah. let's do it like that. Uh, Corey, what do you want to do? You can speak up, um, try and test your restraints, or wait. I would like to speak up and ask about, uh, I guess, what happened? Why am I here? What? How long have I been here? Okay, um, as you attempt to speak up, uh, Zaz, uh, under a lot of pressure, charges his plasma pistol and fires at you. Oh no. Jesus. <laughs> Dealing four damage. My naked body. <laughs> My and he, flesh. And he, uh, he shrieks, uh, Anyone who tries to interfere with the negotiations will get similar treatment. So now, having learned that, uh, you guys can decide how you want to treat the circumstances from this point forward. Uh... Okay, uh, so you choose to wait. Oh, uh, can I test my restraints to, like, not necessarily roll to break them, but see, like, maybe how strong of a roll I would need to break them? What I will tell you is that you can roll a strength check or a stealth check. And if either check is high enough, you can jimmy your strengths in a way that no one will know that you broke out of them. But if it's okay. not high enough, everyone will know that you broke out of them. And if it is too low, you'll everyone will know that you tried to break out of them. Hmm. This applies to everyone in restraints, though Pliny has already <laughs> made his call. Consider what your character would do in character. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm, I'm just gonna go roll strength check to see if I can break your strength. Okay, let's do it. Uh, ability check. Great. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> Alright. Uh, natural one. Um, as you try to break free, uh, Zaz, of course, has had an extra special eye out for the hunter because he's terrified of it. <laughs> and um, 
aims directly for one of your weak points and deals you eight damage. steps in and uh, tries to tries to like bring him down and as they're like debating as they're as they're fighting with each other you can hear banging on the doors that you just came through and the voices of brutes Uh, yes, you have you have access uh, to both the where you are now. You have access to both the facility and you have access to uh, Chip Dubo's restraints. Um, but you could theoretically interfere with all of the restraints of the party uh, if you were to get lucky enough. this Marge, uh, Margie turns to Zaz and, and pleads with him one more time and uh, reluctantly uh, Zaz agrees to lift your restraints um, if she lifts the restraints or she is going to lift her restraints as well so I'm going to do that right now Zaz, um, in order to placate his very suspicious and angry captives, drops the satchel on the ground and is able to bequeath Anar a fuel rod. is a big satchel. And then Anar with your fuel rods, of course, you will be able to perform your special abilities. I don't know how I physically did that, but you're getting you're getting it back now. It's all equipped. Okay, and then Josefo is able to pass you a pair of plasma pistols. As far as you know, um, there's 
nothing that uh, Pliny or um, Chips have to arm themselves. Um, this is considered a huddle moment. So you have enough time before you uh, before you need to decide what to do uh, to converse with the NPCs and each other if you want, and make a team decision. Yes. Um, yeah. So so Zaz is absolutely terrified of you and would probably do would probably do anything to keep you from killing him. Um, the dimly lit hope is still docked. You can tell that without any rolls. Yes. Um, uh, you can tell. Well, actually, why don't you give me a history check? With a 20. Okay. Um, so with a 20, uh, you know that it is a spirit class dropship and that it's, uh, it's currently being refueled and ready or getting ready for takeoff, but its weapon systems are active and it is currently in a fight. Okay, let's... Uh, do you guys want to ask any questions of the NPCs? Okay, um, you'll have to do a performance roll. Yeah, I'm just gonna sort of, sort of indicate towards Sepha and go, It's up to you, Seppo. Yeah, perception check to see if you can understand what he tried to convey to you. And you absolutely can. You you understood everything that he was trying to do despite despite everything that went wrong. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, so, uh, Zaz kind of, kind of shrinks away again. He is, he's rapidly realizing how out of control of this situation he is, um, and, uh, he says, uh, Red Mass know nothing about Bond something, but shipmistress on, on ship, ship, shipmistress probably know all about the slave business. Zaz just jailer. Um, I uh, are you able to delete it? I'll delete it if you're not. Oh, and I should probably help uh, Chips, you know, move. 